Welcome back. While other brands are putting on runway shows for Fashion Week, designer Telfar Clement is challenging what it means to be successful in the fashion industry. He's the man behind one of the most sought after bags on the market, sold direct to consumer. Desperate to get their hands on the coveted accessory, hundreds showed up for a pop up store in Brooklyn over the weekend. As he told our Janae Norman, he's paving his own way to success. <laughs> Fashion Week like you've never seen it before. Go, go, hey. Get the bag! Get the bag! Hey. Get the bag! Hey. Anything for the Telfeezy! Hey. Anything for the Telfeezy. I was here, no sleep. For the first time in history, and for just two hours, one of the hottest bags on the market from one of the biggest names, available by the thousands in every color and every size at this rainbow store takeover in Brooklyn. Even if you're not getting a bag, you still support. This is what Telfar mania looks like. Look at my chin, look, I've been prepared. <laughs> The Telfar shopping bag on the arms of countless celebrities and tastemakers. One of Oprah's favorite things. Sit on our 2020 O list. And now immortalized in Beyonce's latest hit. This whole couture I'm flaunting. This Telfar bag imported. I had one before Beyonce was pictured with it. Just you so see you it? know. A real just fan. Just so you know. I'm a huge fan of like Beyonce. Huge fan of the Knowles family in general. There's no validation that someone else is going to give me that I can't give myself. That quiet confidence of designer Telfar Clemens, a visionary with the unwavering resolve to do what he's done since 2005, on display as we visited him at his new Brooklyn headquarters. Uh, you yes. can look like this too. Yes. Brimming with unreleased collections. Yeah. <laughs> but this looks beautiful on you. And yep. That bag. Because Come on now. We just okay. introduced the new small. <laughs> the evidence of a late night shoot still there. The unbridled vision of an artist turning the fashion industry on its head. Where does that come from? That desire to be your most authentic self and to bring that across in everything you do? I don't have any kind of role model that's like, oh, I want to be that. You know, if anything, is like, I don't want to be like anyone else. The road to success wasn't paved overnight. For a long time, people weren't clapping for what we were doing. Born in Queens to Liberian immigrant parents, Clemens at first had no idea he'd end up in fashion. I'm not a technically, you know, like, um, trained designer. It's like, I wanted to be an accountant, you know? It's like, I thought that that's what my job was going to be, but I always was interested in fashion, but I didn't know a fashion designer was an actual job that I could be. In 2005, Clemens started his eponymous line. The T logo is a T and a C. The Telfar logo would end up on a wide range of apparel, from shirts, pants, outerwear, all non-gendered. But it was that shopping bag, created in 2014, that took his brand to new heights, surging in popularity during the pandemic. What about the inspiration for the bag? I was seeing people during the holiday season, uh, like they just had all these different shopping bags in their hand. It was like men, women, children. I was like, wow, they look so cool. Like everybody got something from the store. They have a smile on their face, you know, like a man, big man's holding a small bag. And then one bag that was specifically just so beautiful was the Bloomingdale's shopping bag, you know. Um, they do have big brown bag, medium brown bag. Yeah. And it just looks so cute. The vegan leather bag. And it won't run you back thousands either. Depending on the size, the price ranges from $150 to $257. I'm like the customer at the end of the day. It's like I know what someone between a certain age group like has in their pocket how much you make a night you know like right. under the table and you know that's what i mean what, and that's what the bags were they were you how much you mean? were making djing a night yeah and and I was like, we didn't make money selling it at that price. Mm -mm. It was like a commitment to the concept. His bags selling out instantly. Telfar and his longtime creative director, Bobak Radboy, came up with a system they call bag security, a recurring event allowing customers to place an order for their favorite bag with the guarantee they'll receive one when their stock is replenished. You have to actually care to get this bag. 
So yeah. you have a filtration system. Living by their motto, not for you, for everyone. It's like the bag became popular because people were wearing it and saw other people wearing it. Yeah. You know, so it's like never to take that away from someone and be like, oh, it's like we should, <laughs> you know, like, yeah. it's like you can have that bag too. It looks good on you too. His diehard fans lifting up the brand, Telfar lifting them right back up. Featuring fans on his social media and his digital TV channel, Telfar TV, a way to directly speak to fans and unveil his latest collections. We love y'all. Telfar, we talk love to the people. We appreciate y'all coming out in the red. But he's not putting all his eggs in just one bag. Telfar continuing to grow his empire of genderless clothing, including collaborations with the likes of Moose Knuckles, Ugg, and East Pack. Oh, kill. Yeah. Even designing the uniforms for White Castle. <laughs> and in a nod to his roots, creating the concept for the Liberian Olympic team. His stylistic unisex line on the world stage, now with a consumer spinoff. It was really fun. They like wanted to stand out and look good, you know, like, but also to like not necessarily limiting what that is. And we got a sneak peek at a new collection with another twist only Telfar could deliver. Clothing with a fluctuating price point. So if you buy it right away, you're getting it at the wholesale price. Mm -hmm. If you actually have the confidence to be like, oh, I'm, I'm the first person that's going to have this. You're yeah. not waiting to see that if this it is sells a trend out, that everybody's it's hype. wearing. And if you wow. need to see it in a luxury store to want it, you can go buy right. it for At four times the price. Yeah. And it's those same eagle-eyed fans that spotted the announcement of this rainbow store takeover. Take the love, be in the love, tell for rainbow. Lining up hours before opening. What's up, Brooklyn? The store is completely cleared out in just hours. But that's not the only trick Telfar has up his sleeve. We didn't want y'all to miss it. All right, let's so go. We're going to do it again September 23rd online. Telfar saying whether he's in a song lyric or a hit accessory, he'll keep at what he's done since he was 15 years old, designing for everyone. I'm not a trend. It's like I'm actually this person, and whatever I represent is a part of like who I am. Like, I'm doing what I love to do each day and doing a new thing that's not dictated by anyone. I should have asked Janae to get me a Telfar bag. Hopefully I can try it online. Our thanks to Janae and Telfar for that.